hi um i'm back i'm not even about to welcome you guys back because i'm the one who's been gone so i did my makeup really fast i was i initially called this just a light beat because oh and i do have on clothes i just have on a strapless um i initially was like oh i'm just gonna do a light beat because because that's my niece's favorite word i was sitting in the living room and my mom was like where's your eyebrow i'm like what are you talking about she said where's your eyebrow i again said what are you talking about and my eyebrows just thinner on the outside and i have been noticing that and maybe it's getting worse so i was like forget that i'm gonna go draw my eyebrows on so i did and then i wanted to do a light beat and then nyla came in my room and helped me with some um deciding that i need or some decisions that i needed to be made me too Put these on me. Nyla voted yes on the lashes, so I put them on and I struggled with them a little bit. But I currently have on these, they are Ilore, um, a little collab that they did with Jasmine Brown, and these are her curly queens. I love these, and hopefully. Yeah, I'm gonna get this up by the time they're still on sale. They are still on sale. So go get you some from Ulta. I don't know what their original price was or even what their on sale price was. But if I get those numbers, I'll ping them in somewhere. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a makeup really fast for you guys. And I filmed it and I put on my eyelashes really motherfucking lazy. And it's coming up in the corner. Yeah, if you guys wanna watch me do my makeup and just get to this point right here this face right here keep on watching i'm just gonna do a voiceover because i just videotaped myself straight through doing my makeup and i didn't show the products or anything like that yeah if we have any questions at all let me know and let's get started so first on my brows i'm going in with my precisely my brow pencil by benefit And I just kind of brush and fill. That's my technique, really. Then I go in with my primer. Here I'm using my Fenty primer, which is really the only primer I be using. take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It might be Creamy Radiant Concealer. I don't know, I'm not looking at it, but that. And I put it on a straight brush and I clean underneath my brows with it. Later on, I'm going to go in with a sponge and blend out the hard streaks, but I pretty much just blend it down onto my lid. And I'm not doing any eyeshadow, so it's not very important for me to really cover my lid with the concealer at this point. Then with the same color that I used underneath my brow and the same concealer, I'm going to spot treat my face is what I pretty much call it, but I do my entire face. Anything that's a little bit of a different color and I kind of just make it even on both sides to make sure I'm putting product on symmetrically.
getting all of that blended, I go in with the Fenty baking powder and I have banana and I put that pretty much everywhere that I put the concealer which again is all over my face. I don't really know how banana-y this baking powder is to be honest. I haven't used another banana baking powder but it does leave me looking a little bit ashy it seems. At least underneath the white light it does. In person I think I look fine but after I mean after it all I'm not too worried about the ashiness because I go back over my face with my go-to product which I'll get into in just a second. can't tell you how banana-y it is or maybe if I just need a darker baking powder but I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go along. But now my go-to product for my face is my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Now they did discontinue this. They did discontinue it but they brought it back and I, it's got to be by popular demand. Um, I think I'm in the color medium tan, but I put that all over my face. To me, it's just like a, this is going to sound weird, but a mediumizer. I do it when I do a full face of foundation, and then when I do this light beat, quote unquote, like this, when I just use the concealer and I spot treat. But it is my go-to gel. It fixes anything on my face. If I don't like it and I need to take it off, I'll just go back in with the Micro Smooth Powder. It's lightweight. It's just so good. It's so good. And then I use my Morphe Setting Spray all over my face. I can't really feel it too much, so I spray until I feel it, and then I open my eyes and I'm drenched. sets I go in with the benefit like brow thickening gel thing it, oh it's a benefit gimme brow oh I like to do the gimme brow last because it does end up making your eyebrow hairs feel a little bit tacky and stiff so I don't like to do that before I pencil them in by any means and then I'm going to quickly about apply these strip lashes again they're the curly queen by Allure, and it's their collab with Jasmine Brown. I just put on the glue, I let it set for a little bit, and then I apply it on. I personally do not like to put mascara on my natural eyelashes when I do strip lashes because I think my lashes blend better without mascara and they uh, look more together and natural. And I also like doing it this way because I feel like not putting on mascara is really good for your eyelashes. I feel like mascara, no matter what, over time breaks down your eyelashes. So. it though all right this is it she's finished thank you again so much for watching me do my makeup I'm in long right now. something I will say however though is if you do only have half an eyebrow that's fine like don't feel less than or insecure about it I did feel a little bit insecure about it just because my mom pointed it out 
However, now that I think about it, my mom has terrible eyesight. So she probably really couldn't see the little hairs that are there because they'd be there. They're just like light and fine, but they'd be there. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I am on my way to go see Endgame, or I just got ready to go see Endgame. So, I might be a little late, but so far, nothing on social media has ruined anything for me. To be honest, I don't know like too, too, too much about the Avengers, but I did watch the last two movies recently, like two weeks ago. If you guys want to talk about it and chit chat with me about it because I'm a little bit late. I'm a little bit late, but I'm not worried about that because I do not like packed theaters. And the one that we're going to is about to be a little bit on the packed side. But anyway, comment down below about the Avengers, about my makeup, about your day, about your life. But I thank you so much for watching. And I'm just going to let you guys know I'm going to be back. And when I'm back, you're going to see me. Bye.